Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Hobo Tango, King of the Noob, and you're watching Steel Division 2. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining in today. We are going to take a look at the first game of the Kingdom of Steel tournament sponsored by Race Design, which gives us a $375 cash prize to give to the winner, where 200 cash will go to the pro bracket, 100 of well, the rest is going to be distributed by Steam gift cards. And hopefully we can get more sponsors for this tournament and get more cash by the winners. Why is Race Design interested in Steel Division 2? Well, I've noticed that they do like uh, World War II. And you can see here uh, in their image of um, their publicity. Now, maybe you guys are going to recognize the speech we're seeing here, but it is inspired by the famous uh, speech from Winston Churchill uh, when they say there will be no surrender. All right, so let's get into the game here. Uh, we are seeing Luna versus Ghost Dragon. I think Ghost Dragon might be Yu Yu. I'm not sure, actually. These Chinese players, they tend to have a lot of uh, alternative accounts. So, who knows? But two very good players. They are from the pro bracket. And um, I think it's going to be very fun. The way the Kingdom of Steel tournament works is you've got to build yourself an army. So, there's no pick and bans of division or maps. You build your army. You're giving 30 points to build it. Each division costs a certain amount of points. And these are the divisions you're going to play for the entire tournament. So, if you lose first round, fine. But if you get further into the tournament you get lower and lower amount of numbers of division you can pick so pro players might be conditioned to use their their least good divisions in the first games and try to keep their better one for the future when they get to harder opponent over here we have ghost dragon he will do a regular type deployment not too aggressive and nothing fancy here. Both players are going to be playing on Maverick. Ghost Dragon is going to be playing with Division 8, Cavalry, Portata. And Luna is going to be playing with Panzerwerben, Schraschwitz. Um, but yeah, pretty uh, pretty simple deployment here from Ghost Dragon. A lot of uh, Recon, Horch. These can be annoying. There's more uh, around here. Well, there's actually just three being used. So that's fine. Over here on the blue side, we're going to be taking a look at Luna's deployment. He's going to be quite aggressive here, trying to take uh, the flag early. There's only two units coming here for the for the middle, so um, Ghost Dragon might be in a bit of a pickle. There's one troop that's going to be coming here as well, a regular amount here. Nothing too fancy over here on the left. We will be watching the game from Luna's perspective because I think he might be winning this um, just because he's the more aggressive player. Also, Luna, in my experience, a very, very good player. Uh, he enjoyed that player, so we're going to be watching his side. It's a very long game, 37 minutes for both Maverick. And let's get this rolling. And by the way, thank you all for joining us and I hope you have fun watching. If you do, please subscribe to my content, like it, make sure that we know you like it. Also, um, Attack Power is going to be casting the Kingdom of Steel tournament. There's going to be God Emperor, a new... Oh, actually, his YouTube name is um, Vox something. I'm sorry, but I'll, I'll put the links in the comment for his YouTube channel. If you guys want to go try to give him a watch. He also co-casts with Nilla. A lot, so I know that's going to be interesting to a lot of people. Machine guns going to be coming here. And you know why, guys? You know why we put machine guns? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. He put it to uh, for this, which is smart, too. I usually put a machine gun around here to try to hit... Uh, a machine gun and AT weapon around here to try to hit anyone that would be coming that way. Um... But anyway, Sniper versus MG42, probably not going to... Oh, there you go. Ghost Dragon is going to remove that Sniper. Um, 
it is only one sniper. I thought there were two snipers. Uh, it is only one. Over here, these guys are being pushed back by the Horsch and Vanatori di Garda. These guys are in absolute shamble. Although the Panzer trees might get hit, but at least the Panzer Grenadier and Erkundungs Erk are going to be uh, able to go. Panzer Verben is one of my favorite divisions in the game. I really love the fact that you've got a lot of Panzer Tree H. You got Tree Leader Panzer Tree for Phase A. You got a lot of small light vehicles that can punch, um, that can pack a punch. Recently, I um, I practiced for the tournament with Panzer Verben because I also have them and uh, on Maverick, and I've won most of my battle in under five minute and i couldn't believe and they weren't noobs well the first one is was a noob and that's fine and then i got some dude i was never able to defeat before and then i got um other good players um anyway i was i was quite surprised so i think pants of Alban, you know although not a lot of people notice it right now but i think pants of Alban might be really really good in this new meta Alright, the Horch is going to move back. AC-45 is going to move away from... He's being shot... Sh I don't know... Oh, there you go. The machine gun is was actually shooting at it. And this is why you want to put some machine guns around here. Over here, on the right side, IG-18 took care of the AC. There's going to be reinforcement coming around here in the form of... Recon. You get a lot of these recon, by the way, in Pets of Alban. There's It's true that they don't have a lot of infantry, and that's why people don't pick them. But you do have three cards of recon infantry, where the first one is these very good uh, TNT throwers, like 3 PPSH, 6 G43, 1 machine gun, and explosive is extremely good. Then um, you can take fusiliers as well. So far, so good for Luna. 13, 11. Uh, he's captured, completely captured these parts. Um, over here is destroyed by the Stug... No? What is that? Zrini 2? I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, that guy. That's, uh, yeah. All right. It, it's an okay tank, but I don't think he's going to match against these pencil trees um, close range like that. Let's see the armor. He has 105 millimeter in front. These guys can do 70 well, you know, at close range, I think they could uh, deal something. Or even if um, they take him from the side, you know, one here, one here. We'll see real soon. Stuka coming in for the Panzer IV. No AA. And Panzer Valben got a lot of good AA. So that Panzer IV is definitely going to die. Luna is not even going to try to run away. He knows he's dead, so I think he might... Oh! Oh! He had two of them! Oh, so that was definitely a lack of attention from Luna because he didn't see that. He must be biting his nails right now. Uh, Panzer IVs are quite expensive. Vanatori di Garda here. They do have anti-tank grenades. They might be able to throw uh, some punch. Oh, no, but they're seeing it because of the recon there. And there we go. Infantry goes down. Really good infantry, but against all of these Panzer trees, they don't send much. They don't uh, send much chance. There you go. Panzer tree might die there. These guys heat rounds 100 millimeter will will die for sure. There you go. Now Luna is gonna back up with two. He had a chance to kill, but with only one. Doesn't really stand much chance there. Panzer 4 coming in though will definitely be able to kill that Zrini. Porch versus Panzer 3. Panzer 3 will win. There you go. Almost though. Almost. Um, the problem with the Horch is that once they make you fall back, then they can just come in for the kill and it can be very dangerous. 1311 for Luna still. And uh, it looks like Luna's micros is really, really lacking. I don't know what's going on. Uh, he's a very good player. He hasn't stopped playing. You know, sometimes when you stop playing, you got to get back in the mood. Over here, these guys are going to lose against these guys, especially the Rossiori Assault. 
coming in with the Flamers. Uh, it's going to push back the um, the lone Pentagon idea. This guy is out of uh, TNT. Walker Wolf still hovering over the sky. Could be trying to support the Pentagon idea, but he doesn't for some reason. One sniper versus Pentagon idea. They could win, but now with the Vanato Edi Garda, it's going to be an impossible um, match. Turin 2 coming in, gonna face off against the Pencil Trees eventually, but the M. Oh my god, the 45 mil is going to kill that. And there you go, one shot, one kill. There's a Panzer 4 though here, so all not. Uh, all is not lost. This is dangerous if he had hit, but he doesn't. Panzer Tree is gonna go around, try to kill that reinforcement, and the uh, Panzer 4 might even help see it. Oh, there you go. Now you get some more Pioneer SVT, a really good addition to Panzerwerben. Um, SVT Pioneers are really good because of their rifle, so they can um, match up against most opponents, in, especially in close quarters. That's Tuka coming for a Panzer IV. Please see that. Okay, he sees it. Will he? Why? There you go. He backs up the Panzer IV. Uh, that Tuka is so slow that by backing up, you do have a chance to escape. Oh, no! Probably... Press the wrong button there. Oh no, he kills it, but there it goes. Oh, that was lucky. Damaged the Panzer IV pretty badly, though, even losing some wheels around here. Oh my lord. Oh my god, this. Or, or no, he was out of fuel. That's why he went at the last moment. Who would do that in real life? Like, you think the plane. At a certain time, you say, okay, I need to, you know, get back home because I'm, I'm not going to have enough fuel. But in that situation, you wouldn't just, oh, back up. <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous. If the plane is on an attack order, they should make it so that um, it does that attack and then it leaves. But, I don't know. Would probably be... Um, would, would, would get abused... To no end, I'm I'm imagining. But anyway. Panzer 4, too slow to hit those Calaresi Moto. Um, Luna is going to hide behind that house to make sure that he's not getting shot by anything. And this is why um, it's often beneficial to have the auto cover option off. Because, you know, in that case, you don't want your infantry going in the house and getting shot by all of these guys. Over here on the left, actually, Luna got some good grounds, got into the house, is not putting his units in houses. That, I don't know why. 1311 still for uh, for Luna. Panzer Tree has very good highs here, but will it be enough? Oh. Alright, he's gonna back up. Pioneer SVT will absolutely shred these guys from a distance, a small distance. Panzer IV might die from the 45 mil. And there you go, he does. This is, put a tank here is a bit dangerous. Preferably you'd get a 80 with uh, HE, but it, it doesn't matter, but it kind of does actually. Um, now he lost all armor support he had in here. He does have some bazookas. Notice he doesn't put them in the house. And I think that's his way of staying hidden. Oh, there you go. They're moving. Okay. Nice off map. 203 millimeter off map there from Luna. That's definitely going to stall these guys for good and you have the 150 mil that's going to be uh, able to provide some direct fire support um, to wherever he needs it and I'm figuring eventually there's going to be a tank coming in to get back some armor support machine gun shooting at the snipers but now also being shot by the turret 2 is going to be in a bit of a pickle he's actually going to die right now there you go Ghost Dragon will try to pr 
profit from this opening now as he's calling more infantry but there you go the off map is hitting off we'll probably kill the leader bazooka standing firm to kill that turn don't know who oh he's hitting the the recon there you go gotta take it out of the house once again no auto cover means you don't have to worry about him getting back off map still going on a little bit over here the flag is gonna be captured soon there you go it is captured these guys are gonna close that in the pioneers did win against all the infantry around here probably supported by some aircraft Stuka Rudel, the ace of the uh, division, is coming in for the uh, Zrini 2 with the help of the recon plane. Let's take a quick look at that. Oof. And he's going for the transport. Oh no. Oh no, killed both. Oh, this. This is the nail in the coffin right here. Ghost Dragon will not get back. Uh, onto this he probably knows it now 1410 is pretty devastating blow uh, let's be honest this ZB just died to the Pentagon here cannot shoot that close Fokker Wolf will start shooting the pack 38 there's not a lot of um, air support around here and it's absolutely needed right now and Rudel could have even come back for these guys there's no AA support anywhere on the right side Risita starting to shoot some HE to the pack 40. Another off map coming in here. Pentagon is going to come in with half tracks and a leader that has anti air capacity. And these guys are actually good at their job. They're good anti air. They're regular 20 mil. Um, I like them. Um, you know, coming with a leader, it's always good. Now, imagine if that Suka would have come for these guys on. He wouldn't have been able to because of uh, of that leader. Anyway, Panzer Trees keeps coming. Not going to be killing that guy, but doing a lot of damage for sure. Now this half map is shooting. The, all of these guys are going to be... The half track is going to try to get some surrenders there. But there is still a turn or two that will definitely kill it. Junker 88 coming in for some uh, bombing. And, uh, yeah. Not even gonna bother with that half track. Half track. Half track did not get any, um, surrenders, but it doesn't matter. Um, alright, the Junker 88 died from Ghost Dragon. This is not going well. He was able to retake this flag by having some defensive troops around here. Finally, some anti air. Hetzer and Zrindi 2 doing a lot of damage there in the middle. Um, but there you go. Now we see the big stuff coming in. Panther A, Mobile Wagon, um, everything you would need to take the ground, the open ground, is coming in. There's some Takam coming. Takam R2. These guys are not. Re well, you know, they are good. They are good. I, I don't think they're going to do a lot of good, though. Uh, but maybe. Actually, I'm wrong because there's a lot of half track and Panzer Trees, so I'm definitely wrong. Uh, these guys could do a lot of damage. But there's already some turn 2 coming in, and the Zrini 2. Another uh, Panzer Werfer coming in. Thirty eleven. That's going to be shooting at the recon. 1410 as they capture this flag again. Zrini 2 will do uh, some damage around here. But there is a Panther A. Panther A does have uh, 130 mil armor. 
So much better than the Panther D. If you go around with Panther Ds against Panther As, you're never going to win at a 2k distance at least. Alright, anti-air goes down. Off map coming in over here. Stoic Tree F8. These are the anti-tank type with less armor. Only 70 armor, but 65 points. It's a good deal, for sure. It's a good deal. Hedzer is going to try to run away from this. Will he succeed? Yeah, he does. Oh, Tuka Rudel coming in with some more kills. Going to retreat right away. Will be hit by both the 25 mil, 225 mil, 140 mil. This will probably die. This will, then there you go. He goes down, but not after shooting a lot of, um, a lot of tanks down. Let's take a look at that. Oh, this guy's reloading. There you go. 25 mil dead. 14-10. Panther has supremacy, but there's a Recita coming in. Pack 40, IG 18. <coughs> okay. Luna sees that Isita is going to run away from that immediately. That Pennsylvania is going down. The Tecam finally arrived on site. There is no one to shoot now anymore, but I guess uh, the Stug trees are there as well. And there's one around here to stop any incoming from uh, this road, I would imagine. Um, yeah. Only there is a reserve force. The Verframen 280 mil coming. Notice how. Uh, Ghost Dragon's not using any type of artillery at all. And, um, oh, Takam versus Tuk Tree. Takam's win the day. Wins the day. Um, there's nothing anymore around here. Could still do a little bit of suppression. You know, some, some blast damage. Off map around here. Will kill the Pentagon Adir. Three star Penzer to Luke's. Will get caught in the fray as well. Alright, off map will go down. Luna retreats his troop, but the leader will die. A lot of infantry is coming in. Especially with the Takam's gonna be some good support. Uh, it would be a good idea to just push everything forward. Even the Risita. Recita is a very good anti-tank weapon. Probably the best anti-tank weapon in the game. That's right. I've said it. You can sue me later or argue. But I, I think that. And um, he could just, you know, walk across around here. And pretty much kill everything um, that shoots at it. Even the machine gun. Well, no, maybe not the machine gun. Well, maybe. He does have, you know, for some reason his HE is really, really good. Uh, in my opinion, anyway, bombs coming down here from the DO217 E4. 
a good looking machine. This guy, no ammo, Opal Blitz coming in. 150 mil. Oh no! Oh, that's dramatic. Kills the 25 mil. And this is why you don't want to have your support unit on the main road that your troops are advancing. Is It is a mistake we often do, all of us, I'm sure. Um, but you've got to resist the temptation of unloading them as soon as possible on the road. You got to take that step further and, you know, get them. I don't know, you know, I don't know. Here would have been better. Um, you know, or even up here in the road. It is not looking very good for Luna on the hill, but, you know, he still got some really good support unit. Takam dies to the pack 40. Very good position. Well, there's two more Takam coming in. There's 145 mil. There's only one Stug Tree. Stug Tree uh, will die easily. Verfremen shooting at the uh, 40 mil, I think. Yeah, oh boy, look at that. These guys are coming. Ouch. Almost one shot. And there you go, two shots is all it took. Leader coming back. But these troops are going to be really, really hard to push back. Will Ghost Dragon actually wins the day by uh, completely overwhelming the hill? Um, and, you know, even though Luna has taken this side here, and this side, important for sure, because there's two flag to be, to be grabbed. Um, but... As we can see, it's not that big of a game breaker. Uh, although capturing this entire line would definitely be uh, pretty upsetting. Although, you know, I guess you can always bring reinforcement that way. But it's a very, very long reinforcement route. Off map. I don't think he has any off map left, but he. I think he's just going to scare his opponent into, you know, leaving. But it doesn't look like it's working. There are. They are actually. They just keep pushing. But that was a really good tactic. Uh, scare tactic. It's psychological warfare at its best. Um, it. Well, if it would have worked. Two, three, F eight. Another one is coming. The stackam are unopposed. And uh, honestly, just a couple of mortars could destroy these guys. And there you go. Kills all AA pieces that were here. Now he can come in with, uh, with the planes and the bombers and feel safe right at home. And there's Shrek coming in as well. A little bit of a push around here, but there is a Penzer tree, so uh, it's a dangerous push. Penzer Shrek will move away because now he sees the off map. Another off map is coming in here. Oh. oh, these guys are pretty good too. With 6 Carabina, 0.6 damage. These guys do 1.4, 1.04 damage though. And 0.6 with the PPSH, 0.8 with the Beretta. So, um, yeah, 1.6 damage here at close range. Although there's only two of them. So, you know, in that situation, they would lose. Over here, the fight is still going. Infantry are fighting house by house, hinges by hinges. Wolframen is going to be targeting these dudes. Off map doing a good job here. Only a 105 mil, but still suppressed pretty much everyone except the Panzer tree. But there goes another 150 mil. Oh no. Could kill the off map and it only shot once. Oh, that was close. 
That was close. Didn't even kill the Lieutenant Pioneeri Calari. And there you go, Ghost Dragon actually surrenders after 26 minute, 39 second. 24 to 14 is uh, it's a bad deal. It's a really bad deal. Well, it's not that bad. You know, sometimes you win and you've killed less than your opponent. Um, yeah, these Rini 2 were very useful. Turin as well did some good job, good support. Over here, Pack 40 did uh, okay. The off map did a lot of good. <laughs> Damn. Wow, look at that. Rudel did a lot of good as well. Killed one, two, three tank plus two infantry uh, in trucks, pioneers, and assault. So, very good CQC units were killed there. Panzer Waffer 150 mil, two off uh, two AAPs, which is really good. Pack 40, one tank, multiple units there, that's good as well. Verframen, uh, one piece plus infantry, really good, and a leader as well. And the DO 217 with some infantry. I hope you've enjoyed this content, guys. And if you want to see more, just um make sure to uh make sure to watch the channel. All right, goodbye.